Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today, in part 10 of the Mastering Multi-Threading series, we have an exciting topic to delve into. Live Locks in c -sharp. So, before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Live Locks in c -sharp multi -thread. What is Live Lock? In C sharp multi threading, a live lock is a situation where two or more threads are actively trying to resolve a resource conflict, but they end up repeatedly taking action that cause the conflict to persist. Essentially, threads in a live lock are not making any progress, they are stuck in a loop trying to resolve the issue but without success. If we compare live lock with the deadlocks, live locks are similar to deadlock that they involve threads being unable to proceed due to resource contents. However, in a deadlock, threads are blocked, while in a live lock, threads are actively trying to resolve the situation but keep failing, leading to a perpetual cycle of the contents. A classic example of a live lock scenario is the dining philosopher's problem. In this scenario, we have a group of philosophers sitting around a table and they share a limited number of forks. In order to eat, a philosopher needs two forks, one on their left, the other on their right. They pick up the forks eat and then put the forks back down for others to use. Now the catch is that these philosophers are polite and considerate. If they can't get both forks, they put down the one they have. This politeness can lead to a situation where all philosophers are constantly offering forks each other but they never actually eat. This is the classic example of a live lock. So how do we solve the live lock issue in multi-threading? Here are some key strategies we can use. Number 1. Introduce randomness. In our example, if the philosopher introduces a bit of randomness in their action, they might eventually make progress by grabbing both four. Number 2. Use timeouts. If a thread can't acquire a resource within a certain time frame, it can choose to release any resource holds and retry later. Number 3. Thread priorities. Adjusting thread priorities can help. Lower priority threads may yield resources to higher priority threat, allowing them to make some progress. Number four, resource ordering. Enforce a strict order for resource acquisition to avoid circular weights. If all threads follow the same order when acquiring resources, live locks can be prevented. Number five, reduce contention. If possible, reduce the need for shared resources by using techniques like thread local storage or other design patterns that minimize contents. So these are some key strategies that we can use order to avoid the live lock issue. Okay, so let's switch to the Visual Studio. See the example for live lock issue. Okay, so here we are on Visual Studio. Here we are going to see a demo of live lock in c -sharp. So what I have done, I have created one console application live lock demo in c -sharp. that has program.cs. So what basically I'm going to show in this demo to you, basically I'm just going to represent a live lock scenario involving two threads, friend one and friend two who are trying to share a snack. They keep offering the snack to each other without making any problem. So let's see this example in detail to understand it better. Here what I have done, I have created one class name program that has main method which is an entry point of the sub. In class program, I have created a static object snack lock. Then we have created two variable friends1 wants a snack and friend2 wants a snack of boolean data type and I have assigned value false to it initially. Then what I am doing, I am just creating two thread friend 1 and friend 2. Friend 1 and friend 2 are going to get executed friend 1 and friend 2 concurrently. That's what I have written friend 1 dot start friend 2 dot start. Then what I am doing, I am just using this join state for against this friend 1 and friend 2 so that main thread will wait until this friend 1 and friend 2 gets completed. Then only this statement is going to get printed into this console window. Both friends are stuck in a live log. So if you see this friend 1 method, what this friend method is doing, so it is entering into loop that continuously tries to acquire a lock on the snack lock object. The purpose of this lock is to ensure that only one friend can access this shared snack related variable at a time. And each friend check whether the other friends want the snack or not. If the other friend does not want the snack, they express their willingness to let the other one have it and perform some simulated work. And that's what I have written thread.sleep1000. So it is simulating to make the thread for sleep for one second. And if the other friends also expresses willingness to let the first friend have the snake, they reverse their decision. 
so the key issue with this code is that both friend one and friend two are overly polite when one friend wants to let the other have the snack the other friend responds by also offering the snack so they keep switching their intention back and forth as a result neither of them ever get the snack and program remains stuck in the loop this situation resembles a deadlock because neither thread makes progress but it's referred to as a live lock because the threads are actively responding to each other not just idly waiting okay so now you have understood this program right so let me execute this program and see this output okay so output got appear into this console first this statement got printed live log demo in c sharp then friend one is saying you can have the snack first friend two is saying no i insist you have it friend one say you can have the snack first friend two say no i insist you have it this is still happening in a loop right nobody is taking the snack they are just offering so that creates a live log situation okay so that brings me to end of my session sum up live logs can be a challenging issue in multi threading but with the right strategies and a deep understanding of our code we can prevent them and ensure our threads make a smooth that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video